Only on Christ 17 TV. Back at you with another one. Right upside your head. You know how we're doing. Today, we got a whole family packing. Son, daughter, pops. Walking up on the wrong people. Asking questions about did they take something. Well, when you think somebody stole something... You better know that they took something. You better have your facts right. Because sometimes it might not end up the way you wanted it to end up. And that's just life. Check this crazy shit out though. This is in Renton, Washington. Right by... Seattle. Check this out. Caught on camera tonight, it is brand new video of the moments leading up to a deadly shooting in Renton. There are a lot of people involved, and police even call it a complex investigation. So to make things easier, we put a circle around the victim, and here's a closer look at what happened in that video. The video begins with two men walking up to the Chase ATM off Logan Avenue South. It's still dark outside, just after 3 a.m. Saturday morning. The two start to deposit money when a man wearing a dark blue shirt walks up to them. According to Renton Police, he believes the pair had stolen his car keys. He grabs the man on the right, demanding that he hand over the keys. The two start to struggle, and that's when you see a fourth man walk towards them. He's the man in the blue T-shirt's father, and he winds up being the victim in this case. Suddenly, the man on the left grabs his son's t-shirt and the two of them start to struggle his dad and the other man get into it and then they walk off screen both pairs of men are now struggling and fighting in front of the atm you can't see her face but at this point a woman wearing a gray sweatshirt comes into frame she's the victim's daughter and the man in the blue t-shirt's sister a shot is fired and everyone scrambles the woman in gray pulls out a gun and also fires a shot in the chaos the 54 year old father was killed but it's not clear which one of the shots is responsible for his death and here's the thing Renton police say the two men at the atm did not have their keys they were simply depositing their money after a night out at the casino investigators say they found four guns between the five people involved they're now doing ballistics tests to try to figure out which gun actually fired the deadly shot does it really matter what gun fired the shot the brother and sister lost their dad four guns five people what i'm thinking the pops, the son, and the daughter was all strapped because if the daughter's strapped, you know the pops, he's got it too. So one of the other two dudes had the banger on them too. Check this out. You coming from the, the casino, why don't you deposit your shit the next day? Three in the morning, ATM, that's asking for problems from the, that's right off the rip, okay? Second of all, these people came strapped over some car keys. I don't know. Maybe they were trying to rob their ass. Who knows? It's awfully funny they coming from the casino from a win. And now three people and they all got guns looking for some car keys that these guys didn't have no car keys. And how the hell would they have your car keys? This is something ain't right. With this thing right here. Something ain't all making sense. Because there's too many guns. Five, even the girl had a gun. That's how you know something was like a little fishy here. They didn't have no car keys. And you approaching them at the ATM at 3 in the morning while they depositing cash. Maybe they followed their ass from the casino. Seen them hit big and followed them. Who knows? Shit ha Shit like that happens all the time. But see, now the pops, he's trying to check the other kid. And either the kid shot him or his own daughter did. But somebody done killed that man. And if it really was over some car keys, man, you lost your father over some car keys. You can always get some new car keys. I know this shit cost some money but you can't get back a life a life is unreplaceable you cannot get back a life there's no do-overs at all there's no let's rewind time and let's do this there's none of that when you're gone you're gone ashes to ashes dust to dust it's finished i think this is a terrible 
thing, but what the hell? Like I said, you're not going to find nothing nice in in any streets, even little towns, at 3 in the morning. I'm sorry to say. If you out at 3 in the morning, shit happens at 3 in the morning. You got to watch your back because this shit is crazy out here. Any place. 3 in the morning is problems. Big cities, little cities, towns, whatever. If you should be in the crib. You should be sleeping or you should definitely be in somebody's crib. You shouldn't be outside at the ATM at 3 in the damn morning. That's the first mistake. Second mistake. Approaching people you don't know what they have on them. At 3 in the morning at an ATM. So I think everybody had a gun except the kid who was fighting. Because these days people don't fight no more, right? So he he fighting because he ain't had a gun on him. The sister had one, so you know the brother had one. And the dad most likely had one. He pulled the other guy to the side out the camera. That's when you heard the shot. And then the daughter shot. But who shot killed the dad? Nobody knows yet. That's the crazy part. What if what if all this was for some keys and she accidentally killed her own father? How does that play out? Does she get charged for murder or does she get charged for manslaughter? That's going to be a different thing. This is a crazy, crazy video right here. Because out the scene, you really don't see who pops who. It could have been the daughter shooting her own dad trying to protect and shoot the guy, but she might not have the best aim. She might not know how to hit a target, but she let off, though. Five people, four guns, one dead. Now, the two dudes, they had the right thing going. If you're going to fight, then fight. You ain't got to kill nobody over no damn car keys and spend the rest of your life in jail over some shits you could have rebought. Like I said, I know it's the principle of somebody got your shit, but they didn't even have your car keys. So now, a brother and sister lost a father. And this is it too. What the hell you bring your daddy to some beef at three in the morning? That's the, another thing. Why you bringing your pops? Unless that was your pops car keys and he the one who knew who took it, then maybe I could see that. But if you like, hey, Pops, roll with us. And why is the Pops not talking these kids out of doing this stupid shit, approaching men at an ATM at 3 in the morning? Now, if you at the ATM depositing big bread you won at the casino, you probably do got your gun on you. You probably are prepared for something like that to happen. I'm just saying. If you outside at 3 in the morning, you know, ain't no joke, shit goes down at them times, you probably got your gun on you. And don't ever approach somebody at an ATM at that time, because they might have the blick on them. And they might get the drop on you when you think you got the drop on them. With this being said, man, this is a crazy one out of Washington State, a town called Renton. Yeah, I've never heard of it, but I have now, and... It looks like it goes down over there in Renton. So they're about to find out with the ballistics on who killed who. And if the daughter killed the dad, anyway, it's going to be sad whoever killed the dad. But if she killed the dad, she got a charge coming because she let off. And if that bullet hit her dad, she not only killed her own father, she's going to serve time for doing that and going to have to deal with that for the rest of her life, which is not going to be fucking easy on an accidental shooting that kills somebody you really love. Out here at 3 in the morning is just crazy by itself. That's crazy. You got no business at an ATM at 3 in the morning. You have no business approaching somebody at 3 in the morning. At the ATM, because nine times out of ten, they're already prepared for something like that, and they probably already got got the thing on them. So, 
I don't know, man. This is a sad story, unfortunate, but it could have been avoided big time. So, like I say around this time, every time, hit the like, hit the subscribe. It won't cost you a dime. This Christ 17 TV, baby. And like I do about this time, catch you on the flip side.